Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thanks very much for watching that earwax from all video today. And um, now normally you'd be seeing Taylor today, but poor old Taylor's not very well. So I don't think you're gonna see him uh, this week, probably not next week either, but I'm sure he'll be back for the week after. Um, oh my goodness, this wax was tough as old, well, it's even tougher than old boots. This is tougher than steel toe cap boots, this wax. It is so, so hard. Poor old gent, he's got loads of difficulties with his hearing, um, has had his ears irrigated before and had real difficulty getting his ears nice and clear. They've always left something behind. So what we've got here is a combination of different factors all sort of playing against us a little bit. You can see we've managed to break down the first little bit of wax there. We've got quite dense cilia around the outside part of the ear canal, which just hinders the view just slightly as we're going in. The wax is tough. It is really, really solid wax, this one and the entrance to the canals are a little bit narrow. So all those things working together is forming a really, really difficult plug to remove. So what we're doing here, we're not even bothering with the suction tube with the ball, we're just going straight in with the Jobson horn. And you can see that it's just all coated around the outside edge. Now the reason this is as hard as it is, this patient suffers a lot with dry skin and the inner part of the ear canal there is really dry. It's not producing as much oil as it normally should and our wax then as a consequence has become absolutely solid. Uh, so we're just breaking chunks off and what that's going to do is going to allow me, once I've got a little bit of the front end of this wax gone, uh, we're going to be able to push the endoscope in just a little bit further and that's going to help us with our view. We're going to be able to get in and on top of the wax and get past those little cilia on the outside edge. Uh, so we're just starting, there you go, really starting to break this down. Make sure you stay tuned to the end to see just how much came out of this ear canal and there are some big chunks on their way guys, so stay tuned for those as well. So what you can see now is a consequence of using the uh, Jobson Home, what's going to happen is we're going to be taking the central portion of the wax away constantly and that's going to allow this very thin outer edge of wax that's going to be stuck really firmly to the canal walls. You can see the chunks are starting to get a little bit bigger now guys as we're coming away um, but what we're going to have to do in a minute is we're going to have to start folding these sides down uh, just by pushing. You can see me just pushing them across there with the Jobson horn just to detach those harder bits of wax on the one side and then drop over the top Keep your eyes peeled for this one. So we're just dropping over the top and starting to pull this one through. Look at that one starting to come away. So we've managed to pull it flicked off the top. So we're going back in now. You can see I'm just hovering around that outer part of the ear canal. Give it some space. Look at that coming away, guys. That is the section that we could see on the outer part of the ear canal. But that is not all that's in there. There's more in there as well. But we're getting this big old chunk. Look at that coming away there. And we actually managed to sort of squish it all together a little bit just to be able to pick this up. But look at the size of that. So no wonder this poor patient wasn't able to hear. You can see that lighter material, that dry skin material, a little bit of hair in there for good measure as well, binding everything together. Uh, so we can uh, just go into the outer part of the ear canal, just get rid of this little bit of wax that's lingering around the entrance. Well, it's not that little actually when you start to take this away. You can really see it pulled another big chunk with it. There we go. Look at the size of that. Oh, don't forget, this is coming out of one ear canal so far, guys. I promise I'm not digging through to the other side. This is just the one side. So we have much, much deeper section. You can see uh, we've got this really impacted, but thankfully softer wax right down against the eardrum here. You can really see those little bits of hair, bits of skin, wax, everything mixed in here together. And it's all really kind of bound down in that deep section. Oh, it's got a little bit, a little, start again put your teeth back in. We've always got to be a little bit more careful when we're down in these deeper sections because this is really uncomfortable for the patient if you press on the canal wall. This would feel like a really sharp scratch if you were put against the canal wall down here. Uh, so I'm just very gently working on this central portion of wax, very gently kind of teasing this down the canal. There's going to be a little bit of wiggling involved in a minute as well to get this out. But we're managing to get this coming away really, really nicely here. Let's start to drop this next section. You can see just how dense those cilia are there as well once we get to the outer part of the ear canal. There we go. Off that comes. None of these pieces are small pieces. See, I told you it was a good one, didn't I? I told you it was tough as old boots. So we're gonna go uh, just in a little bit further. Now, you can see that layer of dry skin that's formed around this wax plug here. So I'm just gonna lift this up. Let's get a bit of wiggle involved in this one, guys. So we're just starting to wiggle this out now. There we go, detaching it from the canal wall. Let's get it past this outer part of the ear canal. You can see that dry uh, cream colored skin there underneath. That's a bit of a layer of dry skin there. And don't forget, this patient's never really had their ears cleared completely. They've always been leaving something behind. Uh, and I think this is the section we're looking at here. Uh, let's get this, give this a little bit of, oh no, 
This is going to be a little bit impervious to wiggle, this one, just because it's so soft. If you try and wiggle it, what we're going to do is detach this front section. So I just want to clear up all those looser bits on the front. We need to get a good suction grip in there. So we're just going to clear everything from the front there. Let's give this a little bit. Oh, there we go. Just holding on. You can see I'm, I'm trying to lift this out of the recess there. Let's get this out and off that recess if we can. Nah, still looser section. So we're just going to keep chipping away at this at the moment. There we are, let's get this lifted. It's not quite as solid as I would, ideally what I'd really like this piece to be is just a little bit more solid. So when you lift it, it brings big chunks out. But you can see as we're lifting it, it's just breaking this apart, it's teasing it apart. There we are, another big chunk come away there. Out that comes. There we go. Guys, if you are interested to know the sort of sizes of the tools and things that are inside these, we did a bunch of shorts on those. I tried to sort of clump them together, otherwise the shorts would have gone on for ages. Um, so I've tried to put them all together so it gives you an idea of the size of some of these tools that we're using. But this particular section of the ear canal here, take your little pinky, take a look at the end there, that's the kind of size that we're working in at the moment. So very, very small, uh, small space. Nice big chunk of wax coming away from that space though. There you go, you can see that dry layer that was been sitting underneath there. There we go. Uh, oh, no, I'm not going to tell you that. Well, maybe. We've got a bit of a change coming next week, guys. I've, I've, I've altered things up just, just a smidge. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to let that next week run, and we'll see how that comes out for you. So we've just got these last couple of pieces. There you go, coming away. There we are. That's the last of the sort of bigger chunks of wax. But if you look just beyond it, the eardrum there, you can see this sort of creamy brown color right at the bottom of the drum and that's little bits that are stuck there so we're going to go back in now we're going to have to put the fine end on for that though so let's go back in here let's start to get the couple of these little little loose pieces that have been hanging around in here so by this point now the patient's getting the you can really hear a lot better um let's start tidying this up we've got a little bit in the recess you can see it just starting to lift there you go lifting up up that comes out of the recess look at that Look what was hiding down in there. So we can get that out. There you go. This long strip of dry skin that was hanging around in there. It's basically sandwiched from the eardrum over onto the canal wall there and lifted up. So we're going to get that out. There we go. Let's take a look. What have we got left in here, guys? We can't have much left. A little bit of olive oil in there, you can see, just to ease this last couple of pieces along. So we're just going to very gently sneak up to this last little bit. There we go, and we've got two more pieces. Let's get that bit to the left. Let's grab that. There we go, and the last little bit just above it. We'll get that bit as well. Well, guys, don't forget, if you do enjoy these videos, in a couple of seconds, you're gonna see some more videos popping up on that side, I think. Uh, if not, it might be on that side. Um, but you're gonna see some more of our videos popping up there. If you do enjoy it, check those out as well. There's some good videos. If you really enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe. This is what came away. I'm going to bunch these together a little bit because I didn't realize there was that gap right at the beginning. So about five and a half centimeters. I'm going to put that, what's that, about two, two and a quarter inches, maybe just over two inches. Uh, but look at the size of those chunks of wax that came out of that patient's ear canal. So big old pieces. Thank you so much for watching that video today, guys. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to check some other videos out. If you really enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel. If you liked the video, oh my goodness, I'm losing track. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, but as always, guys, take care of your ears, take care of yourselves, and take care of one another, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye, everyone.